Eight. All right. Close one, Larry. Huh? Squeeze that. Oh, yes, bro. Oh Let's go. Gosh. Come on. Dang. Yep. Yep. Going down. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, if you haven't seen my death grip jerk off video, check it out. It might save your life. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you have a napkin? Jesus. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the intro to the video. <laughs> Super bumps. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Here we are at Bonneau's best bodybuilding gym in Dubai with the return of Noah 2.0, might I add. Last time he was here on the channel, you're about like 130 plus kg. Now you're down to a slim 118. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be around 118. I was 115 two weeks ago. I've been eating a little bit of shit. That's too bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> and again, a little bit of weight, but yeah, I lost like 20 kilos this summer. That's around 20 kilos. Awesome. Noah's made a seriously impressive transformation ironic that i'm doing this video i just did a video with sharif actually because he made a super transformation he used to be super skinny the opposite of you now you're coming down from being super big uh so more of the story anything possible whether you're slim you want to get bigger you're big want to get slimmer these two guys right here have made it happen everything is in that i've done it already in the past it was not my first time like losing weight but to be honest last year i did i i, I lost a little bit of track but the important thing is not how many times you fall but how many things you can get up and try again. Absolutely, well said. No, it's only 21, guys. 21. 21. Now I know how people feel when I was 21, saying, you're 21? <laughs> this is how I feel looking at Noah. I, I swear, I kid you not, you look older than me, dude. But in a good way, like, you just look like a grown-ass man. You know, you look like a grown-ass man. You are now, especially taller, bigger than me, but still. Bigger than you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> no way. 100%. No way. Uh, I have been eating like a pig lately, so I'm like 131. Um, my weight's climbing up. I'm gonna fill you guys in with what I've been using to help with my appetite. Uh, it may just be placebo. It may actually be doing the job, I'm not sure. But if I hit 135 on only four meals a day with no shakes, that's gonna be an all-time high for me, especially because what it took for me to be 130 plus in the past was 10,000 calories a day. Yeah, I remember the video of your diet. Yeah. I remember the video. Oh my God. <laughs> like I literally had a bleeding rectum because I was eating so much crap and shitting so much that like I couldn't sustain it for three weeks. I'm now, sorry for your toilet. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry for my bum hole. I swear. <laughs> it was painful. Anyway, so now I'm 130 plus, 131 to be exact, mm -hmm. eating far less, no shakes, no discomfort. Uh, and I don't look nearly as bloated as I did back then. So I'm really happy where I'm at. Um, anyways. Not to make this all about me, it's about Noah today. So mm -hmm. we're gonna start off with doing back, uh, some bodybuilding accessories. Not gonna do deadlifts or super heavy rows, but we will go heavy on the bodybuilding movements. And I'm in. we're gonna see what you're like when you're pumped. I'm in, let's go. All right, let's Ready? get to it, let's get to work. Oh yeah. It is, this yeah. looks sick. Almost at our work weight already. <laughs> we got the 25s. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. 
see you, Haas. Yep. Oh. I see you. This was starting to get heavy. I, I agree. I agree, it gets heavy quick. I take back what I said. It doesn't need to be long. Longer than that. This first set? Yeah, this will be the first working set. What How many, uh, uh, what's your rep range, usually? Uh, usually between 8 to 12. Okay. Uh, so for these, for this first set, 12. Okay. Now that you're eating more, do you change your rep range? Yeah. Uh, usually for the first exercise, it's heavy compound movement. But since we're not deadlifting today, doing any variation in deadlifts, uh, I can only go but so heavy on these. I'm not going to do triples or no fives sense. with this. No sense. So it's going to be uh, maximum 12 reps and minimum of eight. Yeah. So for this set, do 12, put a little more weight, go 10, and then finish with eight. And do drop. Go to guy. Yes. Come on. One. Two. Yes. Two. Come on. Three. Yes. Four. Five. Come on. Six, come on. Seven, eight, come on. Nine, ten, two more. Yeah. One more. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Easy, Robs. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Powerful man. Yep. Yep. Squeeze. Yep. Bring it to your body. I want you to go. Please touch. Yep. 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 Get her done. Whoa. There we go. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh good. See little duckies yet? This was oh, heavy, bro. <laughs> this was so heavy. Oh my god. Where, where did they clean? Huh? Where did they clean? The first half were, the second yeah. half no. I was done. But acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> it was acceptable. The thing is that when you train with people that are stronger than you, you want to always like try to reach to their level. But I think it's a good thing. Absolutely. You need to be careful. But it's a good thing. It's that constant motivation. Yeah. When I had the arm muscles here from Georgia, I was super motivated. They get stronger. Because they were stronger than me yeah. in so many different things. I was like, fuck these guys. <laughs> now they catch up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. 10 reps. Easy 10 reps. Come on. Let's go. Ooh. Yes, bro. Ooh. Yes, bro. Come on. One. <sighs> two. Come on. Three. Four, come on. Five, squeeze. Six, yes. Seven, come on. Eight, come on. Two more. One more. I, I ate this morning the best meal ever. Couscous, protein shake, mix it all together. <laughs> and I ate it like that was disgusting. <laughs> like a pussy's mouth. You're far from it. Alright, that one had a problem. It was been an accident. They didn't tell me. So the, the value was not what it should have been. So I swapped it for 720 now. Oh. You know my client 720 is? Idea. Sick. It's yeah. even better. You're really. Yeah, it's even better. So I can't complain. That was motivation, by the way. Seeing what you got. You know, this... I, I follow you like since the beginning and seeing where you got, man, it's not. When I first came to Dubai, I was driving a Camaro. That was the best I could do. Yeah. But now, I got the best I could want yeah. for the road. And so... ima imagine even if you think about 10 years ago. Oh, 10 years ago. Five years ago. Five ago. Yeah. yeah, when you used to do videos like Pedro Champ and stuff. Then I couldn't I even know how to drive. Yeah. <laughs> but even if I did, five years ago I was living with my mom. Yeah. You know? Paying $200 rent, uh, no car, taking the subway, you know? That's more rich for me than I'm 21, I just had to reset the industry. Yeah, when I was 21, 20, 20, I moved out. Yeah. My mom. Like me, what I'm doing now, coming here to Dubai and stuff. But that's the best thing you can yeah. do, be independent. Yeah. Because it forces you to grow. You have to 
we have that level of responsibility. Yeah, because safe now you're gonna end up in the streets and you're, you're forced to work and do stuff and upgrade. Absolutely, 100%. And also, being in a place like Dubai, what's middle class here is not what's middle class yeah. in America. Yeah. You're constantly rubbing shoulders with very powerful, wealthy men, people in general. So it's very motivating, not just in the gym, outside as well. Everyone else speaks like a multimillionaire. Yeah. So it's very motivating to, to want to be successful when you're here. Yeah. Very motivating. So, yeah, okay, enough flying time. Go. Come on, eight. All right. Close on, right. uh, Squeeze that. Come on. Yes, bro. Let's go. Guess. Come on. Easy. One. Easy. Yes. Two. Come on. Three. Let's go. Come on. Four. Squeeze. Come on. Five. Three more. Two more. Come on. One more. Easy. Uh, easy. Ooh, she could have done more, bro. <laughs> that was so oh, shit. They were having a napkin. Jesus. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's going to be the intro to the video. That, that, that happened to me once when I was speaking oh, with a girl. God. <laughs> oh, did it actually? No. Oh, fuck. Jeez. <laughs> Let me go and take a carta. Anyone have napkin? Oh, it's not napkin. Eight, but we're up to 20. But before I did five with this weight. No, you did more. I did more than five before? Yeah, oh. eight. Yeah. Okay. Try okay. and make it touch your body, though. Okay. So, more range of motion. Should I put, uh, say, more down? Uh, use more leg drive, so you can get more range. Okay. Use your, you can use your legs with this one. Like? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay, baby. You got it. Let's go, baby. Right. Dang. Yep. Yep. Going down. There it is. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yep. Hey. There you go. Hey. You're better. Hey. Use those legs. Yeah. Oh, I'm Beautiful. I'm done. I'm a pussy, oh. bro. <laughs> I'm so weak. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm so weak. Get me? Come on now. Oh my god. A lot of weight on that, you know. Thank you for the workout, bro. <laughs> it was a good workout. <laughs> we ain't done. Come on now. Do you ever tra yeah, do you train with people like that, that are stronger than you, right? Yeah. Like Especially bodybuilders. Yeah. When they do these movements, they're usually stronger. But this is what they all they do. They don't do heavy squats, deadlifts for the most part. So when I train with them, I'm usually like trying to catch up because yeah. they have better stamina with these movements. That's used to training with high reps, low rest, which is great for me because only one movement I do in the workout is very heavy in a compound movement. The rest of the movements, majority of the workout, are bodybuilding, low rest period, high reps. But when you train with heavy reps, it's almost cardio for you because you're not used to it, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, for me, doing over 10 reps, my heart rate's like 160. 160? <laughs> Probably, yeah, 160. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you do cardio, actual cardio? <laughs> I don't do actual cardio. <laughs> when, when was the last time you did actual cardio? I oh, uh, can't remember. Really? A long time. Yeah. Wow. Maybe when I walk around Global Village, <laughs> uh, that's like three hours of walking, that's cardio. The problem here in Dubai is that you don't walk and stuff. Yeah, when I was in New York, I would get 10,000 steps yeah, a day. Yeah, me too. And when I'm in Italy, I do 10, 10, 20K each day. When I'm here, I finish the day with like 2,000 steps. Not even. It's a very lazy lifestyle here. Yeah. You don't need to walk anywhere. Nowhere you need to walk. Unless but, you go to like Expo 2020, go to like maybe the beach. But the problem, how can you not get fat when you don't do cardio and stuff? That comes down to genetics. If I didn't work out, I would just be very skinny. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't have... Yeah, you were skinny at the beginning, it's true. So, it's... I mean, genetics are so important in how your body develops and how it responds to your lifestyle. For me, no matter how bad I eat or how little I train, I'll always be slim and lean. But if I stopped everything altogether, I would just shrink. I would just get very small and skinny. Maybe have a little belly like a dad bod. I wouldn't get fat, though. We definitely get fat. When you have something, you want another thing. Like everyone tells me, well, I would like to be like you because I can eat like just stupid stuff and gain 10 kilos. <laughs> but to lose them for me is almost impossible. It's no doubt, I think, your body type yeah. that are very easy to gain weight yeah. is much more difficult to live with yeah. than my body type. I can have very poor diet 
and not do cardio and still be lean. No matter. So it's like I have a gift. You have to work harder to be as lean as I am. So no doubt it's harder for you. This yeah. summer to lose weight, I used to go in the gym in the morning to do cardio faster. I, I walk till home, like do 5,000 steps. I eat, then I go train with weights, then in the evening I do cardio car again. It was so hard. Really. <laughs> and my, my body wasn't responding. I wasn't losing weight the first period. It took a while for it to yeah, respond? It took, yeah. Like after one month and a half, two, I started to lose weight. I wasn't losing weight. And I was so stressed. I couldn't sleep myself. But I think that's also because I was thinking too much about losing weight. You need to be relaxed and stuff. And realize it's a lifestyle. Yeah. That's the hardest part yeah. about those who just get started in this and making this their lifestyle is understanding that it's not you get your goal body then you stop. Yeah. It's something that you live with for the rest of your life. Because if you stop, people say, well, if you stop taking steroids, you'll get fat or you get skinny. Yeah, well, if you stop training, you'll get fat and skinny. Yeah. If you stop eating right, you get fat and skinny. So it's just a lifestyle. You have to commit to it until you're dead. And that's where you see serious results that stick with you. When you make it a habit, something that you can't give up no matter what happens. Whether you lose a limb, you're sick, something that never leaves your life. It's always there. Since my balls dropped, I've been in love with fitness. I've never taken a break. Cause it's a part of me, I can't, I can't stop. You know? It can't be something you pick up and put down. Cause you're not feeling well or cause life is getting difficult. You never give it up. Now this is motivation bro. <laughs> <laughs> Goosebumps, it's true. <laughs> so true, so true bro. Oh, low no. roll, low roll. Dope you. Yeah. Dopio. No, Dopio. Dopio. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> what other Italian words do you know, Larry? Just spaghetti. <laughs> and pasta. That's pizza. It. What about oh, pizza? pizza. <laughs> you like Italian food? I love it. Oh, my favorite. Yeah. Especially for gaining weight. Yeah. It's the only kind of food that sticks to me. Yeah. Did you make good Italian food here in the You know what? Yes, actually. Good ravioli, good ziti, lasagna. Mm. I've had good Italian here. Yeah. What I wish they did here is Spanish food. There's some good rice, beans, and chicken. I never, I never tried Spanish food. Never. And in New York, and America in general, everywhere you find good Spanish food. My problem, I'm more into junk food. Like, <laughs> for me, I'm, I'm happy to be here for Cheesecake Factory, Pizza Hut, KFC. No, well, that never gets old, I yeah. agree. But you, pasta is one of my favorite cuisines, do, top three. Do you cook at home or do you order? Always order. You always order? Every day? Every single meal. Really? I order literally four times a day. Every single meal, I never cook. You never cook. I don't need a kitchen, to be honest. It's a waste of space. <laughs> in years, I haven't cooked. And the woman in my life don't cook for me, so I end up ordering. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Let's go, come on. One, two, three, four, come on. Five, six, seven, come on. Eight, nine, ten, come on. Eleven, come on. Twelve, come on. Oh, warm enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, There it is. Our, our reps were much more controlled yesterday. Oh, right? yeah, we were much more controlled. I'm going to do negative right. and <laughs> isolation. <laughs> right. With a three second tempo on the eccentric. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. Don't be playing with your huh? nipples. Stop. Yeah, my chest is hurting a little bit. <laughs> you know, I got surgery. Yeah, how is it feeling now? Mm, I need to do a second part because. Really? Yeah, the, the, the doctor tried to not leave a scar, but it's still falling down a little bit because the, the fact that they removed was, was so big. Like, Look really? like yeah. a chick. You want to see it, the picture? I do actually. I'll, yeah. I'll show you the picture later. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Come on. Yeah. See you, Noah. Come on. Hey. Get that money. Hey. Yep. Yes, sir. Hey. There it is. Hey. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Hey. Give me two more. Hey. Ah, there it is. Hey. Ah. Hey. Yep. Two more. Hey. Beautiful. Hey. There it is. Hey. 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 H
Nice. Oh, Fuck it. Uh, let's get some blood. Come on. One, come on. Two, three, come on. Four, five, come on. Six, four more. Come on, three more. Let's go, bro. Two more. Squeeze. Squeeze. Hold it, hold it. Come on. Yes. Are you good with, good with bodybuilding poses and stuff? Oh, not at all. <laughs> yeah, but you, you, you did a bodybuilding competition, right? I, I did, yeah. Well, I didn't do good. I'm not sure I got 11 out of 20. I was like right in the middle. Which is not bad. I it was a, a very comp competitive. And it was like years ago. Uh, yeah, three years ago now. I'm a sport. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Long long time, right? Jesus, fuck. You're good with bodybuilding poses, right? Sure. Men physique. You're men physique? Yeah. I thought you were classic. No, no, men's physique. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if I was able to get another 10 kg, like 140 kg, and get on stage at 135, <laughs> then maybe I'd be a decent bodybuilder. I can't imagine you 140, bro. You're... I'm 131 now, so not much more. Add more KG. Bro, I, I, when I was like, it's true, I think it was fat, but I couldn't breathe, bro. I was doing like two steps and I was like, <gasps> it affected me so much. Does yeah. it affect you? When I was 135, or I guess last year, yeah. it was horrible. Even during the night, I was snoring so much. Uh, I do snore at night, but not as bad as one may think. I don't need a CPAP. But, you know, what happens is if you gain too quickly, like I did last year, your body doesn't have time to adapt. And I would take, like you said, two minute walk in the mall. Had to rest on the rail. Walking, slowly. I'd want only four kg more than I am now. Now, I was walking at Global Village two days ago for three hours, nonstop. I didn't get out of breath, I wasn't tired because I put the weight on slowly this time. Maybe two months ago, I was 122. So I slowly gained. Before, I went from 115 to 135 in two weeks. In two weeks? Two weeks. I'm not kidding, two weeks. Maybe two and a half. 115 to 135. With that diet you posted on YouTube? Yeah, with that same diet. It was 10,000 calories a day. Oh, fuck did you do it? 10,000 calories a two day. Two weeks, 20 kilos. It was six horrible junk food meals. It was- Yeah, I remember, I remember that. Three big ice cream protein shakes. Each shake was over 1,000 calories. And I was eating 6,000 plus <laughs> calories in junk food, pizza every day, desserts. It was as bad as a diet as it could get, but it worked. I was extremely bloated though. Even this, you didn't feel like tired all the time? Of course, yes. Yeah. I was always in the toilet or in the bed. <laughs> it's all good breath. You got this set. Come on. Come on, hey. big boss. Let's see it. Yep. Hey. There it is. Hey. Did a good rest. Hey. Oh, shit. Hey. Nice. Hey. Strong back. <clears throat> Strong back, kid. Come on. Hey. Yep. What? Three more. Yep. Hold at the top, last two. Yep. Last one. Yes. Good reps, man. Good shit. Very good. Let's go, baby. Alright. Let's go, baby. Not <laughs> <laughs> bad. Not bad. <laughs> bad for a kid. <laughs> when I do that pull down, like this, this is my end range. Uh, yeah, you don't need to get to tilt down. You yeah. just need to feel the like the squeeze. Exactly. Yeah. Like I can't, I mean, there's only like maybe 20% of the stack and I can't go lower. Even because if you go lower, you're going to use your biceps, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So coming to about here, where I get a good squeeze. Any lower and I have to dip down or I have to just use momentum like, yeah, like that. Yeah, and I'm yeah. not engaging my lats anymore. So but you need a lot back. Yeah, because if I stay vertical, then it's even worse. And uh, I need to have a slight incline to be able to get a good contraction. How tall are you? Uh, six one. I guess you're like six three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, we're like the same height. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same muscles too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like this, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Perfect. How's that grip? Yeah, fit it. Nice. But how's it feel in your hands? Comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, this is so nice. Yeah, I love this one. So much better than the yeah. standard rounded, smooth one. I don't feel my bicep like zero. That's really good. 
so good. The grooves go perfectly into your palm and fingers. So you really can go as heavy as you want and not need straps with this, I believe. Especially if you're using chalk. Are you using the whole stack? Whole oh, stack? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm only doing half reps, right? <laughs> How many reps? Oh, oh, come man. on. One, come on. Two, let's go. Three, Larry, come on. Show me what you got. Come on. Four, yeah. yes. Five, come on. Come on, Larry. Six, let's get to eight. Let's get to eight. Come on. Two more. Oh. One more, come on. Come on, Larry. Oh. Yes. Oh. I'm not doing no stack. Oh, how do you do that to show up Adam and Sharif? <laughs> They, they weren't as clean as our reps, right, Sharif? <laughs> yeah, ours was all ours much slow, cleaner. three seconds, slow, Exactly, three seconds slow and controlled. <laughs> <laughs> Should I try out the stack? No. Nah, uh, you can try I think it's going to be very heavy. It's heavy, great. <laughs> <laughs> it is heavy. Are you surprised? Well, let's, let's see what you can do. Come on, yeah. let's see it. It is a very heavy stack. <laughs> and I was not doing clean reps. I'm, prob I'm probably not going to even be able to move it. Nah, let's see. No, you can't I'm watching. I got you. <laughs> Sharif, this is a competition. Power! Come on! Yes. Let's see it. Come on. Yeah. yeah there you go. Oh, yeah. Woo. Yes, Strong sir. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was it. Okay. Good shit. <laughs> you give the max effort. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed, man. That was oh, great. Fresh oh, we did? Yeah. This is what we do, bro. This we impress people. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> We're not doing that shit again. <laughs> Staying in my lane. <laughs> Were you in Andrew's lane? I was in Andrew's lane. Yeah. <laughs> He's king of the machine. <laughs> He's doing a US takeover right now. He is. Yeah. Mark my words. Andrew will get Mr. Olympia one yeah, day. He I will. Know. Yeah, oh, he will get it. Hundred percent. He will. He, there's no weakness. What weakness does he have in his physique, honestly? Zero. Yeah. Bro, I saw him last time in the, in the gym. He was training like 60 reps each set. <laughs> 60 reps. I can't turn with him. Like he, he'll be in here for three hours, non-stop, mm -hmm. doing like one one body part. <laughs> three hours. I can't do that shit. Yeah, he, ha he has everything. Crazy genetics, crazy mindset, everything. Crazy work ethic. Crazy workout. Mm -hmm. He always Stamina. has. He has a hard time finding a training partner because no one wants to train as long as him. Most of us do like four, five exercises. He'll do ten. You know, with short rest periods, high intensity the whole way like by the time we finish he's warmed up yeah. he's like he's ready to like finish the work <laughs> like get started he another always level. makes that joke he's, he's true though another level yeah, he another is level. but that's bodybuilding mine so that's not me i'm like a lion i <laughs> rest 20 hours out of the day and i strike for one hour <laughs> my one hour is here in the gym <laughs> rest of the day i'm sitting home eating do you sleep a lot i, I do actually yeah really yeah i do uh not i don't nap anymore actually now I sleep maybe six hours a night. Oh, that's not, that's not even enough, I think. But I always, it's as much as I can get. I try and get more, but I can't. What do you do the rest of the day usually? I spend a lot of time eating and relaxing at home. Um, I like to watch YouTube a lot. I watch a lot of influencers, a lot of bodybuilders for inspiration. You act um, like a gamer type. I can't game. Oh, really? Not at all. I used to be, not a teenager. I grew out of it. Nothing, yeah, me too. nothing Zero. interests me at all so in gaming. Boring. Yeah, still the same shit. Uh, but I like to drive a lot too, actually. Like I try and eat out a lot, just have something to do. Um, but I have a lot of downtime. I have a lot of downtime. Yeah, I'm not one of those who works like 12 hours a day and yeah. sleeps three hours a night, that's not me. <laughs> that's not me. It's not as hard as it looks to be jacked and strong. It's just gotta train hard, eat and sleep good. Really, okay, all right. <laughs> come on, one, two. Three, come on. Four, squeeze, come on. Five, hold it, come on. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Squeeze that back, come on. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Easy, bro. Come on, you got more. Come on. Yes. Yep. 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 It should work. Get your work in. Get your work in. Come on. Get that work in. Yep. 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 This was good. This was good. 
I don't think Adam and Shari can do this. No. <laughs> uh, let's give them more credit. They were doing it as their first exercise. <laughs> yeah, maybe yes, yeah, maybe yes. Yeah. I mean, they carved up the day before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but as I was saying, before Noah did his set, to be jacked and strong, a lot of us share a similar lifestyle. <sighs> we don't party much. We're not out most of the day. A lot of, the t a lot of us spend a lot of our time indoors. Yeah. We have a lot of downtime. When you make this a career, you need that downtime. You can't be on your feet 10 hours a day, yeah. driving hours because a day. Everything you do in the day affects your gains and everything. Uh, absolutely, 100%. Every single thing you do. Absolutely. If you want to be like a world-class athlete, bodybuilder, strongman, powerlifter, arm wrestler perhaps, the more time you have to rest, the better it's going to be for your training. It's bad to say, but it needs to become almost an obsession. A hundred percent. Because yeah. you need to be obsessed to gain a certain thing. Like if you want to be the best in something. Yeah. Especially. You can do all these sports while still working a nine to five, wife, kids, busy as can be. But if you want to try and make it to the top, you need to be obsessed. You need to be obsessed. And you need to have a lot of downtime. You need to have a lot of time to rest. 100%. It's only going to rest is only going to help. Yeah. When BGC was around, RIP, he struggled to make serious improvement, to make serious gains, strength gains, because he would work 14 hour shifts. Yeah. He would sleep two, three hours a night. Then he would try and hit a PR on the deadlift squatter bench, but he hardly ever slept. He hardly ever ate because he was too busy working. Yeah, same, same, thing, same thing for me. You know? and you, when I used to work like a security guard uh, in Kuwait before, I couldn't like, my, my training wasn't good as now that I work only with this and I do all of this. Because all my day I focus on doing it. Like when I wake up, my first thing I think is this because it's the only thing I do. And I have, when I come back home, I rest and I eat. If you do other things, you're, you're not going to be focused. You're going to have the 100% focus on uh, what you're training and stuff. Exactly. Exactly. But yeah, this is yeah. This is for those who want to be at the very, the very best, like at the top of your class. You want serious, extreme results. You're going to make serious sacrifice and commitment. But that's not to say that if you're like leading a very busy lifestyle, it can't be done. No, it can. It can be done for sure. It won't be on the same exactly. scale. It just won't be to the same extreme as someone like me and you now, who have made it like a full-time job. Yeah. But this to, is for everything you want in life, I think. Whether you want to be a doctor, whether you want, like, if you want to be a doctor and you need to study, you can't go out and party all day. You need to be home and study. Right. In everything in life, if you want to get something, you need to be obsessed and make it a priority. Yeah, well said. <laughs> I got to be wine and dine before you call me baby. <laughs> wine and dine. No, I'm not into into big black guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into big. I need something to cook for me. <laughs> that your peak is like during your 28, 30s, usually? They say that, like mid-30s. Yeah. You don't believe it? Uh, no, I do believe your 30s is where you'll be, you'll have a really good level of muscle maturity. Yeah. Uh, especially if you've been training from an early age and you haven't stopped. When you reach your 30s, you'll be really thick. Uh, thicker than you'll ever be in your 20s, I believe, if you've been training from an early age. Like, I believe, for example, now, I'm 27, I'm 131, eating only, like I said, four times a day, no shakes. Five years ago, six years ago, I was 21, I would kill myself to be 120 kg. Three shakes a day, six meals a day, constantly sick and bloated to be 120, and I'd want to walk around like 115. So now, with far less effort, I'm 
30. We're completely opposite. <laughs> I was I was 120 when I was like 12 years probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 12 years old. Yo, uh, I get to 120 probably around 15, 16. Jesus. I was 140 when I was when I started. I was 16, 17 years old. I gained weight immediately. Like immediately. I think now, like two weeks ago, like I thought I was 115. I'm afraid to weigh myself now. I hope I'm around 118, but I think I'm gonna be more. <laughs> probably 120, yeah. 121. I have to guess, but this is the holiday season. It's all of us are gonna be uh, a bit more lean yeah, on the diet. It, it happens time of year. once a year, so yeah, you have to enjoy life. When if you don't have a competition or something, exactly, yes. yeah, exactly. You gotta, you gotta live a little, you gotta live a little. So yeah, if you haven't seen my death grip jerk off video, check it out. It might save your life, <laughs> your love life, that is. Uh, no, but you're just asking me, yeah. does eating more affect my libido? Yeah, 100%. When I'm on a high carb diet as I am now, I'm eating what I want. Carb or fats? A, uh, carb. Uh, I have an elevated mood. Carbs make you feel good, relaxed, and full, but not bloated. So when I feel good, my libido's good. When I'm on a low carb diet, I'm more yeah. moody, cranky, like irritable, me. and the libido goes down. My libido is so down. Like, I feel my libido like higher when I get a cheat day. Like, when I cheat the day after, I'm like mad. It's like my, my, my body doesn't understand what's happening, <laughs> believe me. But now, I don't even think about it, to be honest. Uh, it's my video. Yeah. Yeah, again, Look. carbs make you feel good, relax. But if you're constantly hungry, yeah. it makes you irritable. I get irritable when yeah. I'm low carbs. I'm, I'm like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, it's hard to live with me, I'm like this. But so. the, the lucky thing is that I'm a very chill guy, so I would just not speak. Like, I'm not the type that attacks you and stuff. There are people that when they're on diet, they're mad. That's not me either, but generally low carb diet. I'm more irritable in the sense like not okay. social. Yeah. Same. I don't wanna I just wanna be home, left alone. Yeah. And all that's on my mind is my cravings. Um, because I'm so used to getting away with it, right? Because I have a gift to eat what I want and still be lean. But to take it to the next level, to get on stage, I can't get away with it anymore. I have to be strict yeah. and go to that extreme. Like every other, like every other bodybuilder. Yeah. So when that happens, I feel like a very big part of my life being taken away from me. A very big part of my daily enjoyment is eating. Yeah. I spend almost all day eating, every few hours. So when I can't eat what I want, I'm just in not in a good mood. So my libido suffers as well. You know, because I'm just not in a good mood in general. Yeah. But when I eat what I want, everything's all gravy. Yeah. By the you way, know? did he ask you why? Why are you trying to gain weight? Is it for uh, arm wrestling or powerlifting? Yeah, it's for all of the above. When I'm bigger, I'm stronger, and I've always wanted to be a bit thicker. Because in my height, it takes more to fill out. Uh, my long limbs. So the way, the look I want, it's just a bit thicker than I am now. I don't want to be, for example, like 145, 150, like a mass monster. Yeah. I just want to be a bit thicker, a bit bigger arms, a bit bigger legs, calves, you know, just a little bit more. But as bodybuilders, we're always striving for perfection. Yeah. So, will I ever be like completely content? Never. No, never. I'm happy in my own skin. I love my physique, but I'm always striving to make it a little bit better. I feel like when I lost weight, I felt skinny. When I add weight, I feel fat. You're never, you're never content. I think that for that you need a little bit of balance in bodybuilding. Yes. Because if not, you're gonna be like not depressed, but never, like, never satisfied. Yeah. Completely. Exactly. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. But there's always that hunger for more. Yeah. There's always that hunger to be like the best version of myself. That's good. You know? Keeps you working. Exactly. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Come on. Eight. Nine. Come on, bro. Ten. Squeeze. Hold it. Hold it a little bit. Come on. Yes. Come on. Hold it, yes. Oh yeah. Oh, there it is. Would you like a nice tea? Anyway, bro. Yeah, bro. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Is this Adam Waite? <laughs> <laughs> Contraction, yeah. especially once you've pre exhausted the big muscles. <laughs> Excellent pump at the end. So, we're wrapping up today's workout here with Slim Down Noah. I can't call you Big Noah no more. 2.0. Big Noah 2.0. Big Noah 2.0. Uh, best you've ever looked. Very proud of you. Thank you, bro. And you're inspiring thousands on, the, on your journey. So, we thank you for that. Um, you did that to me too. Hey, bro. <laughs> it's true. You have to be a part of the it's process. True. And this is, you're not done. You're far from no. done. You're only 21. Yeah. You're frankly just getting started. Yeah. Just getting started. Um, please follow him. Link in the description box below. Be a part of Team Perso Record. .com. All lifting gear, clothing, merch online available now. And happy holidays. Christmas coming up in a couple days. New Year's. Don't get too crazy. All right. Don't drink and drive. Play it safe. Talk to me. <laughs> 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 oh, I speak for all of us. Uh, but yeah, you know, guys, loosen up, enjoy the holidays, some time with your family, have a good time. Uh, I know for many of us, fitness is an obsession. And it's hard to put it down and not guilt trip ourselves when we want to have a drink, have a good time. But holidays like this call for it. You gotta live life, you gotta live a little bit, have some fun. Uh, and then half the new year, you go back to kicking ass. Yeah. Get back on the game train. Don't worry, the game ain't going nowhere, guys. Enjoy yourself. Let's go. And thank you so much, Larry. Hey, my pleasure, man. Thanks for coming back on the channel, and we'll see you again. I'm sure even for better sure. than now. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Let's go, baby.